Hi everyone. Welcome back to the IT and Psychology YouTube channel. Today we are going to be starting with the third chapter of IT 12th grade. That is Advanced JavaScript. Before we start with the third chapter, I would like to suggest that please do watch the videos made by me for the first two chapters as, as they contain both the explanation and the solutions for the exercises. And if you wish to give a test on the two chapters, I have put up put up a test on the telegram group for doubts by the name of test1.pdf and if you feel like you need the solutions, I have uploaded another video as well for the solutions. Feel free to watch that via the link given in the description. So here we continue with chapter number 3, advanced JavaScript. We have here firstly given to us, let us learn. This has an elaborate explanation of what we are going to be learning in this chapter. Firstly, the pointer one says, features of JavaScript, difference between client-side scripting and server-side scripting. So remember that we had learned about client-side scripting and server-side scripting in the unit 1.9 of advanced web designing as just an introductory part. Here we are going to learn what they are and what are the differences between them. Then we continue to point to number two, looping structures. Then we go to DOM objects and window object in JavaScript. Then inbuilt objects such as string, math, array, date, and number with its properties and methods. Then we continue to simple JavaScript programs to do validations and user interaction. So here we start with the introduction 3.1. There is a variety of scripting languages used to develop dynamic websites. JavaScript is in, an interpreted scripting language. An interpreted language is a type of programming language that executes its instructions directly and freely without compiling machine language instructions in precious program. So this definition is important. Please mark this. Just remember that the introduction part is also very important. Then we continue to program is a set of instructions used to produce various kinds of outputs. JavaScript was initially created to make web pages alive. The programs in this language are called scripts. Then we continue to unit 3.1.1 features of JavaScript. JavaScript is lightweight scripting language because it does not support all features of object-oriented programming languages. So it is majorly for beginners. Then we continue to the next point of no need of special software to run JavaScript programs. Then we continue to JavaScript is object-oriented scripting language and it supports event-based programming facility. It is case-sensitive language. It is our case sensitive language. Then we continue. So uppercase and lowercase here does matter. Then we continue to the next point of JavaScript helps the browser to perform input validation without wasting the user's time by the web server access. Then we continue to the next point of it can handle date and time very effectively. So this is an efficient programming language. Then we continue to the next point of most of the JavaScript control statements in tax, sorry, syntax is same as syntax of control statements in other programming languages. So there are a few similarities between JavaScript and other programming languages. An important part of JavaScript is the ability to create new functions within JavaScript. Scripts. Declare a function in JavaScript using function keyboard. Then we continue to the next point of software that can run on any hardware platform PC, Mac, SunSpark, etc. or software platform Windows, Linux, Mac, OS, etc. is called uh, as platform independent software. JavaScript is platform independent scripting language. Any JavaScript enabled browser can understand and interpret JavaScript code. Due to different features, JavaScript is known as universal client-side scripting language. 
So this is an easy software to use. So when you wish to learn about this in the future, you learn how JavaScript is used in Bootstrap and how it has multiple applications in making a website. Then we continue to next part that are the two types of scripting. Server side and client side scripting. We start here with client side scripting first. In this type, the script resides on client computer browser and that can run on the client. Basically, these types of scripts are placed inside an HTML document. So the client side scripting is only running on the client side and it is saved on a .html file. If you wish to learn more about this, there are multiple courses about websites development on many uh, platforms. Please do a little research so that you can get a more elaborate view of this topic. Then we continue to server side scripting. In this type, the script resides on web server. To execute the script, it must be activated by client, then it is executed on web server. So it is given a test run and then it is executed on the web server. So here we continue to unit 3.1.2, the difference between server side scripting and client side scripting. Server side scripting is used at backend where the source code is not visible or hidden at the client side that is the browser. On the other hand, client side scripting is used at the front end, which users can see from the browser. So server side scripting is more secure than client side scripting. Point number two, when a server side script is processed, it communicates to the server as against client-side scripting does not need any server interaction. Then we continue to the third point of the client-side scripting language involves languages such as HTML5, JavaScript, etc. In contrast, programming languages such as PHP, ASP.NET, Ruby, ColdFusion, Python, C hash, etc. are server-side scripting languages. Then we continue to point at number four. Server side scripting is useful in customizing the web pages and implements the dynamic changes in the web websites. Conversely, the client side scripts are generally used for validation purpose and effectively minimize the load to the server. Point at number five. Special software web server software is required to execute server side script whereas client side scripts require web browser as an interface so here we continue to the do you know part there are some popular framework libraries angular js it is a javascript based open source front end web framework developed mainly for single page applications VUE JS. It is JavaScript based framework for building interactive user friendly user interface UI. It can be easily integrated with other projects and libraries. React. It consists of JavaScript libraries for building UI for single page application and mobile application. So here we'll start with unit 3.1 switch case and looping structures. Previous year we have learned different basic syntax of JavaScript such as variable declaration, if structure function, etc. So this is where we end the video. We will be starting with the switch case statement and the looping structures in the next video. If you like the video, please drop a like, share and subscribe with all your friends and if you have any doubts pertaining the topics I've taught in this video or the topics taught in the previous video, please join the group on Telegram and please 
message me if you have any doubts and if you feel like you need to support the channel follow me on patreon via the link given in the description thank you for watching take care i hope you like the video